My name is Josh Frischow, and I'm the coordinator of international admission at Knox College in Galesburg, Illinois. And I'm talking about uh, liberal arts colleges and the, the flexibility that the curriculum in the liberal arts gives to students to, uh, to chart their own path. Um, you're not narrowly focused on just one area of specialization, but you can choose from many different uh, subjects. Um, most liberal arts colleges have strength in the natural sciences even, chemistry, physics, uh, maybe neuroscience, but also um, the humanities, uh, the classics, literature, languages, uh, economics, maybe even business programs. Um, but what's special about the liberal arts is you get to find uh, the connections between different disciplines by exploring many things, uh, maybe even subjects that you've, you've never tried before. Not a lot of people have taken an anthropology class in high school. Uh, or Greek literature is something. And um, you know, at my college, at Knox uh, in particular, we give students a lot of freedom and flexibility as they're constructing their own personalized educational plan, working one-on-one -on -one with an advisor, uh, with a faculty mentor who helps them um, find the courses that are going to play to their strengths um, and maybe push them to explore things that they wouldn't they wouldn't find on their own. Um, and uh, many liberal arts colleges, including at Knox, uh, give students um, also the freedom not just to construct and explore during the core part of their curriculum, but to put together um, their own self-designed major. And that's an opportunity to, to mix disciplines together, um, where you could, could say take, um, take biology and, uh, and economics and, and explore um, environmental studies um, from the policy and the scientific perspective um, constructing constructing one one program that way um, or you could take uh, writing and psychology and look at uh, how how writing can be used therapeutically um, perhaps uh, so there's a lot of opportunities to to combine different disciplines and find the overlap and the connections between things When students are constructing their own educational plans or developing their own major, um, they're not only thinking of the, the curricular experience, the things that they're doing in the classroom. There's uh, lots of other things that are going to be part of that plan as well. Uh, maybe doing an internship, um, they might work with their, uh, their faculty advisor or the, the career services office. Um, at Knox we have a center for career and pre-professional development and the advisors in that center um, work one-on-one -on -one with students um, not only to advise them to help them to find their interests but once they know what they want to do and um, say they want to find an internship in, in banking or finance and they know they want to do it abroad um, that they, they could work closely with uh, the, the advisor in the center to find that internship um, to, to do that and that's something that they would integrate. Also um, many students want to study abroad and, and take courses in a, another university in another country in another language and um, by working with, at Knox, for example, our Global Study Center, um, they're able to work with an advisor who will talk to them again about their, their hopes and dreams and desires and goals uh, and help them to find um, the program that's going to really match what they've constructed uh, for themselves in terms of their, their educational plan or to fit into that personalized major that they're making for themselves. Um, so whether it's an internship or a study abroad opportunity or in-depth research that they want to do, um, maybe on our campus in one of our laboratories, but it may also be in a, a national science laboratory somewhere else in the U.S. It may be some inter university abroad. It might be at a field station in Antarctica. You know, the the you know, options are, are not really limited. Uh, whatever you can dream up, you can, can make it happen. When you're studying at a liberal arts college, I think the essential relationship that you're going to have is between you and your, your academic advisor. Um, they're, they're really going to guide you through the process of choosing your courses and finding your internships and eventually writing your letters of recommendation for graduate school or your first job. Um, so it's a really important person to know well. Um, for you to know them and for them to know you. Um, it's not unusual at Knox, uh, for example, um, students to dine in a, a professor's home. Um, the first meal you eat on campus at Knox is generally hosted by, uh, by your academic advisor. So um, I definitely encourage you uh, to, to reach out and to make that uh, a really important part of your time at college. Know them. So 20 years down the road, you'll want to come back and visit campus and, and see uh, your advisor, a professor who, who really helped set you on your path. 
um, and I encourage you to come explore, uh, explore our campus and, and see for yourself.